Please stay tuned following this presentation for previews of other Barney Home videos. Tina, now it's your turn to swing, and I'll push you. Okay, men. Oh, we take turns. Oh, we take turns. When we play with toys. We play with toys. Cause that's what's right. Cause that's what's right. For girls and boys. For girls and boys. Oh, we take turns when we play with toys. Cause that's what's right. For girls and boys. Oh, we take turns when we play with toys. Dinosaur joining the fun, too? Sure, Barney. Tina and I have been playing on the swing. Ooh. Would you please push me again, Min? Sure, I'd love to. Oh, I like the way you've been taking turns. Manners are rules for being nice to people, and you're using good manners and being polite to each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll push you all the way up to the stars, Tina. Okay, Min, and I'll pretend I'm swinging at nighttime. I'm starting slow and swinging real low, but soon I'll be going much higher. Then I'll swing so high, I'll be up in the sky and pretend that I'm a high flyer. There she goes. <laughs> She's swinging up to the stars and she just passed Mars. She better look around soon because if she's not careful to watch where she's going, I might just bump into the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I like to look up at the sky as I swing back and forth. 
It's fun to play outside. We can do lots of things outside. And guess what, Barney? Mm -hmm. We planned a special outdoor surprise for you today. Oh, a surprise? Oh, I love surprises. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it a game we're going to play? Well, that's part of it. Oh, goody. Games are fun. Fun and games, fun and games. But there's more. Oh, oh okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, is it something special we're going to eat? It's lots of things we're going to eat. Ooh. We're going to have an after-school picnic. A picnic? That sounds like a super de duper delicious surprise. <laughs> oh. It'll be a lot of fun. But why don't we play a game until we get hungry? Hey. How about a tug of war? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Barney could be at one end of the rope, oh. and we could pull on the other end. That's okay, okay. Barney. Uh -huh. Okay, Barney, the team that can pull the ribbon over to its side of the stump wins the tug of war. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Go. Oh. Oh, 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 boy, you kids are stronger than I thought. I'm not moving you an inch. Oh, oh. We'll never win. I have an idea. Keep pulling. Stop, stop that, Nina. I'm ticklish. Oh, nice going, kids. Oh, that's the funniest tug of war I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we play another game before our picnic? Okay, what should it be? Oh, how about a sack race? Okay, yes, sure, sack race. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first person to hop past the steps and then over here to the gate wins. Everybody ready? Just a second, Barney. Derek, I think I saw something in your bag. Yeah? Okay, get on your mark. And it was big. Yeah? Get set. I think it was a big bug. A bug? Yeah! Go! Derek is the winner! Yay! 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 <laughs> Oh, 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 boy, looks like that butterfly got a little shook up. Not as shook up as Derek was. Yeah, I think I'm ready to eat now. <laughs> Me too. Would you like to join us? Of course, Tina. I'd be delighted. Everything we brought is in the classroom. Let's go get it. Okay. <laughs> Michael, could you please help me with the door? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome, Tina. There are lots of things we can do to be nice. Sometimes they're hard to remember. But there are two little things you should never forget from January through December. in the morning at noon and night because it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. Derek, would you please help me with this? Sure. Thank you. in the morning at noon and night because it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. Here, Barney, let me help you with those. Why, thank you, Michael. Oh, sure. <laughs> We're talking about please and thank you. They're called the magic words. If animals could talk, you'd hear the fishes and the birds. in the morning at noon and night because it's a great way to be polite. Please and thank you, they're the magic words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ray, buddy. I think we're ready to eat. Mm. Boy, this food looks great. It's a picnic full of healthy snacks. Oh. Snacking on healthy food is what we like to do. Eating apples, oranges, carrots, and some celery, too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these, and a glass of fruit juice, too. Mmm, 
these are some of my favorite foods. And they're all good for us, too. <laughs> Second on healthy food is what we like to do. Eating apples, oranges, carrots, and some celery, too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these. And a glass of fruit juice, too. I just love fruit juice. These are the best after-school snacks. <laughs> Ooh, yum! Snacking on healthy food is what we like to do. Eating apples, oranges, carrots, and some celery, too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these. And a glass of fruit juice, too. Nuts and cheese, and some of these. And a glass of fruit juice, too. <laughs> you know, eating healthy snacks is good for us. And being polite to other people is good for us, too. Hey, everybody, besides saying please and thank you, what are some ways we can be polite when we're eating? It's not polite to reach across the table for food. You should ask someone to pass the food to you. Uh-huh. Hmm. Michael, would you please pass me the carrots? Oh, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and it's not good manners to talk with your mouth full. <laughs> you shouldn't make noise or chew with their mouths open, either. That's right. I can make a clap with my hands. I can make a stomp with my feet. I can make a cluck when I cluck my tongue. But I am very quiet when I eat. <laughs> I'm very quiet. <laughs> I can make a snap with my fingers. I can make a tap with my toe. I can make a snort when I cluck my nose. But I am very quietly, you know. When I'm chewing my veggies, I always keep my mouth closed. I can make a click with my teeth. Make a scary noise in the night. Ooh. I can make a whistle when I my lips. But when I eat, I try to be polite. That's right. <laughs> I always try to be polite when I eat. But even if you don't talk with your mouth full or chew with your mouth open, or smack your lips, you can still be loud. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Some foods are just noisy. I'll show you. Take a bite of your carrot stick. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> now, men, bite into your apple. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Derek, eat one of those crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the celery. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I guess you're right, Michael. Some foods are noisy all by themselves. But I'm glad you all use good manners anyway. <laughs> sure, because we were all taught good manners when we were little. And speaking of good manners, hit it, Barney. Oh, please? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's tell him about good manners, Michael. Ready? Oh. When I was just two All about manners and the right things to do They told me learn to say thank you And learn to say please And learn to say excuse me if you happen to sneeze <laughs> yeah. Good manners Good manners <laughs> Good manners are important to everyone in the world <laughs> My parents kept on teaching me when I was three and then the more I learned, the more that I could see that there's a way. 
<laughs> oh, I just love good manners. <laughs> hey, I bet you know some other ways you can show good manners. You should always cover your mouth when you cough. <coughs> or when you sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, bless, bless you. you. <laughs> if you're chewing gum, you should keep it in your mouth and not play with mm -hmm. it. I know a silly song about something you should never do with gum. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If you chew it in the morning, will it be too hard to bite? Can't you see I'm going crazy? Won't somebody set me right? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? Hmm, that's a good question. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If you chew it in the morning, will it be too hard to bite? Can't you see I'm going crazy? Won't somebody set me right? Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? <laughs> I would never take gum out of my mouth and stick it to something. Mm. Sometimes my mom lets me chew bubble gum, but it's not good manners to blow bubbles in front of people. It's okay to blow bubbles with friends, though. <laughs> but with bubble gum, you can only make one at a time. Mm. Why don't we have some fun making lots of bubbles? Hey. Lots and lots of bubbles, please! Oh. Yes. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Let's make this our very special splash day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and for that, we need some special clothes. Okay, here we go. Here, I'll get the door. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Tina, may I have the fly swatters? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Here, Michael. Oh, thanks. Here, Min. You can use these. Thank you, Derek. They use them for what? For making bubbles. Just dip them in the bubble mix. Just watch. Whoa, let Look me try. Whoa. 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 Oh, look at them all. Oh, look. Wow. <laughs> oh, excuse me, man. I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh, that's okay, Michael. Here we go. There's some more. Oh, no. Oh. You can almost get in these, Barney. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's so big, Barney. Oh, they sure are. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, these are this. neat, Barney. Oh, 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 oh. Teeny tiny ones and big ones. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh that is huge. Let's have 
have a splash party. Yeah. Mm. We can do all sorts of fun things with water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be cool. yeah. I watch my daddy do this every morning. Oops, missed a spot. Just as good as my dad. <laughs> Boy, this is smooth. I don't think the fish are biting, Barney. <laughs> and do you know why? They're too busy swimming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> See? Look at the fishies. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. <laughs> Down in the meadow in an itty bitty pool live three little fishies and a mommy fishy too. Swim, said the mommy fishy, swim if you can. And they swam and they swam all over the dam. Poop, poop, did'em, dad'em, want'em, chew. Poop, poop, did'em, dad'em, want'em, chew. Poop, poop, did'em, dad'em, want'em, chew. And they swam and they swam all over the dam. Oh, here they go. One by one. Stop, said the mommy, or you will get lost. But the three little fishies didn't want to be bossed. So the three little fishies went off on a spree. And they swam, and they swam right out to the sea. Boop, boop, boop did them, dad'em, why don't you? Boop, boop, did them, dad'em, why don't you? Boop, boop, did them, dad'em, why don't you? And they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Oh, be careful, little fishies. That's a big ocean out there. Oh, Said the little fishies, here's a lot of fun. We'll swim in the ocean till the So they swam and they swam and it was a lark. Till all of a sudden they met with a shark. Oh, boop, 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 did him, dad, him, want him, boop, 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 did him, dad, him, want him, Look at the whales! Quick as they could, they turned on their tails. Back to the pool in the meadow they swam, and they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Boop, boop, did em, dad em, why don't you? Boop, boop, did em, dad em, why don't you? Boop, boop, did em, dad em, why don't you? And they swam, and they swam all over the dam. Oh, welcome home, fishies! <laughs> <laughs> Derek, would you like to see me make a star out of water? A star out of water? How can you do that? Watch. Okay. Hey, pretty neat, Tina. Thank you, Derek. Okay, Baby Bop, guess how many cups it will take to fill this up and bring the ducky to the top. Let me see. I guess eight. <laughs> I guess six. Maybe three. And I say four. Okay, Baby Bop, fill it up. Okay. <laughs> fill it up. One. Fill it up. Yes, Michael, you were right. It took four cups to bring Ducky to the top. Ooh, can we do one more, please? <laughs> sure. Okay, guess how many cups it will take to fill this up? I say 12. Maybe seven. I think 10 will fill it. Okay. I guess eight again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Fill, fill it up. One. Fill it up. Cups to fill this up. Oh. 
thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I gotta take a nap now. Baby Bob's tired. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I guess we'd better get going too, Barney, but, um... Oh, no problem. Barney! <laughs> oh, whoops! Oh, that's Barney. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Splash Day, Barney. Oh. It was a lot of fun. Oh, you're all so welcome. <laughs> To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never ends. Here's what we did today. Aren't picnics fun? <laughs> you can enjoy being outdoors with friends and eat healthy snacks that taste yummy, too. Mm. You can have fun playing tug-of-war or making bubbles. It's important to be polite and use good manners. Always take turns when you're playing, and remember to say please and thank you. And remember, too, that I love you. Just think about it. Tall ships, the open sea, and an island adventure. Wow! I'd love to sail on a big ship. Well, you could, you know. We could? Sure. You can do anything if you just imagine. <laughs> just imagine. A storybook adventure comes to life when Tasha and Min set sail on an exciting voyage to Imagination Island with a little help from Captain Barney. The crew is complete when Sean, Derek, Baby Bop, and her big brother BJ join in the fun. On this wonderful journey, you never know what or who they'll find along the way. As Barney and his crew explore the jungle island, they meet a most interesting character. 
<laughs> Professor Tinkerput. He's a toy inventor who doesn't want anyone to play with his toys. Your children are sure to have fun singing and dancing along with Barney and his friends as they help show Professor Tinkerput that good things can happen when you share. All hands on deck as the adventure is just getting started on Barney's Imagination Island. The imagination's fun for you. Is everyone having a good time? Let's <laughs> go! Are we on flying in an airplane? Looking out the window, watching the clouds go by. Four centipede and three blind mice sat on a curved stone covered with dice. The horse he slipped and fell on the flea. Whoop! Said the flea, "There's a horse on me." The nest on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole and the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around. Baby Bob, BJ, and all of their friends when they take center stage in a special adventure filled with all your favorite songs and games. We meet a new friend, the Winkster, who loves to laugh and play jokes. And everyone is sure to have a great time when the Imagination Circus comes to town, filled with clowns, animals, and even a few special surprises. Come along and join the fun in Barney Live in New York City. <laughs> If your children enjoyed Barney's Imagination Island video, they're sure to love the hardcover companion book by the same name. Barney's Imagination Island book and other Barney books are available at selected stores in your neighborhood. <laughs>